Hello, this is Dude000 from TalkGeek.org for Gary's Mod, and I'm going to show you how to make a scoreboard for simple games in Gary's Mod, or for just your own personal use. This is going to be the finished product with everything wired. That is for one team, and that is for two teams. Notice there's only one value, which is value A. And notice there's only value 2. Well, sorry, apologize. There's two values, value A and value B. Now, I'm going to show you what it is for one team. Over here, I'm just going to do the demo. Firstly, you're going to hold Q, go to display, wire display, and make a screen. Make it plasma TV, and we only want one value because we only want one team, so click it. Use bigger font. No, I don't know. Doesn't really matter. See, there's only value A now. Okay, from there, we're going to go to gate arithmetic and wire control. And make sure it's on add. And any model works. I'm just going to use the default one that it gives me and put that right here. Notice that it's A plus B equals zero. And add is on top of there. A and B are going to be our values and I'll explain that further on. Alright, now hold down Q again, go to input output wires I slash O, it's what it means input output, and go to button. Any model, make sure toggle is on. We want toggle on here. The value on is going to be 0, value off is going to equal 1. <laughs> Notice when I put the button down, it's 1 minus 0 equals 1 in parentheses. Excuse me, for buttons, you cannot change it to addition. I don't know why, it's just part of it. Anyways, from here, you're going, whoops, we're going to hold Q down again, go to wire tools, and go to wire. Because it's value A, when I try to right click to see if there's another value, it won't go. So from here, go to value A, and hold it up to the gate. With that, it's showing that values from here are going to go to there. Now, to hook up the button, which is going to make our score, of course, E is to toggle. If toggle was not clicked, it would just go back to 1. So we're going from A to the button. And see that there is 1 now. Notice when I click the button, you can't really see, but there is zero now when I toggled it so the values can go to all the way up to H which you can figure it out if you want to do the alphabet I'm too lazy right now it's only a tutorial anyways hold down Q again go to input output and make more buttons I'm going to make five to save the games to five in whatever game we're playing it's best use for games so now we have our five buttons. We're going to go to the wire tools again. Go to wire. But now here's the part. From here on the gate, right click, it switches to B. You're going to click and click on any button. That makes it one because this is still toggled off. See that it's two. Click that one. Click that zero. Click that one click that too, but what if I click another button? It doesn't affect anything because it's not wired yet. So let's wire it up. Go to C and click, oops, misclick. And from there you see now that it's three, two, one, zero. And I'm just going to put it back to three and from the gate go to D which is 4 now it's on 4 and lastly we will go to E and click and now we have 5 here is our first simple scoreboard now for two teams we're going to go over here doesn't matter where you put it just easier for me on like a blank canvas we're going to go to display screen. You can make it any screen you want. I'm just doing things easy here. 
whoops. You know what I did wrong? There's only one value. I'm just going to stick with plasma TV. See, now there's two values, value A and value B for two teams. You're just going to wire it the same way like we did to the other one. Gate arithmetic, make sure it's on add. And we're going to put one on the other side. Now, all we need now is five buttons on each side. You can put them anywhere you want if you wire them correctly or don't get confused. Alright, so these buttons are going to be for value A, which goes to here, and these are going to be value B, that goes over here. So let's wire this up. So we will go to wire, any length of course, um, A will be to this side, see the wire, and B, doesn't matter where you click, if it's the same value that represents it's okay. The B will be to here. Now simple really, all we have to do is just wire these back up to A, uh, let me switch that. Okay. And from here, we will wire those buttons to make it here, which will go for team 2. Um, so we click the gate, hit the button, C1. Oops. Make it B. Make it C. Make it D. And make it E. So see, now that we have 5. I'm just going to click the buttons off, so it's on zero for now. Whoops, I missed the one. I think it was that one. Oh, there it was. Okay, zero. Now for here, we're just going to assemble it wire A to here, B to here. Oops, misclick. C to here, D to here, and E. Misclick. God, the buttons are small. So here we have our two teams. Say, oh my god. Well, no, not yet. Four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, say team A scores a point for whatever game you're playing. Woo, hooray. You just go here, click one. Now they have one. Say now team B scores two in a row. We'll just click one button, and we'll click the other button. So it's one to two. Very simple tutorial. Um, there is a way where you can make it only one button that sets it. Of course I don't know how in God's name to do it. This has been Dude000 from TalkGeek.org for Gary's Mod and thank you for listening. Appreciate it.